Now Dr. Eames said, this is my new birthday. You. you want a big party? Special day. His new birthday. Doctors called him a miracle. The bone marrow transplant went really well. Um, he actually switched to 100% donor cells. And um, all of his tests came back looking really good. It appeared Garrett would be the first at Cook Children's with Burkett's lymphoma to survive. That is, until he started complaining of headaches. His transplant doctor did an LP and the leukemia is back in his spinal fluid. They gave us no hope. And they sent us home. to Christmas, Garrett returns to St. Francis for five final radiation treatments. The radiation is expected to ease the pain of his headaches, pain you can see in his eyes. A notable change over the past four months as we watch this three-year-old boy in and out of the hospital and good days playing in the yard. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Meow. And now his cancer treatments are all too familiar. Garrett helps with the anesthetic. He calls it milk. While it is difficult for Cheryl to watch, knowing the treatment is only for his comfort, she is not giving up. We're still hoping. We still pray every day for a miracle. Just in God's hands now. Cheryl and Bobby Savington know in many ways Garrett is already a miracle. A three-year-old boy who inspired a community to become donors. they say is how the miracle will continue. You know, there's still other kids that can use a donor influence that could, that all those other 700 people that don't, maybe one of those will still be a match. I just feel that God probably wants another angel. He's given me a chance to say goodbye. Amanda Jerkins, News Channel.